Hey everyone, welcome to Creative Bath Lab. Today's project is an emulsified scrub, which is made up of an emulsified base and exfoliants. This particular scrub has a moisturizing and foaming emulsified base and brown sugar, walnut shells, colloidal oatmeal, and oats for exfoliants. This scrub goes on thick and as it's rubbed, it becomes creamy, spreading beneficial and moisturizing ingredients while gently exfoliating the skin. Once you introduce water to it, the suds and foam are activated. It's kind of amazing. The first batch I made was awesome, but it was a bit too thick. It took a bit of work to formulate the exact perfect base. I tried everything from thin emulsions to extra thick, but I finally got it. For the base, you'll need two ounces of oil or butter. I'm using this butter, C-U-P-U-A-C-U. -U -U. I was not even attempting to pronounce that. You'll also need four grams of emulsifying wax. To weigh the wax, you'll need a sensitive scale that accurately measures grams. Add the wax to the oil or butter and microwave it until it's melted. Before adding the water, make sure it's close to the temperature of the wax and oil. Allow the mixture to cool to room temperature or you can quicken the cooling process like I'm doing here. Add two ounces of whipped soap base. This is what gives the scrub a foam, lather, and suds. Click the icon for the recipe or just wait until the end of the video. Whip the base until it's light, smooth, and creamy. The consistency should be similar to yogurt. This recipe makes exactly five ounces of base. You could even store some for later if you didn't want to use it all at once. Now I'm gonna show you how to make the oatmeal honey scrub. The honey and colloidal oatmeal are beneficial to skin, and the brown sugar, oats, and walnut shells serve as exfoliants. The walnut shells and oats exfoliate and also give the scrub depth and interest, aesthetically speaking. Look how beautiful the scrub is. It's thick and creamy with visible specks of sugar, shells, and oats. Thank you. 
For a thinner scrub, leave out the oatmeal and oats. Here are some other ingredients that would go perfect with this scrub. For packaging, choose any container that you have. I chose this jar because it reminds me of a honey pot. Leave some room at the top and clean the edges. I don't like to stick my hand in the jar, probably because of my nails, so I do recommend placing a scoop in and then top off the scrub with a few oats. I really enjoyed this scrub. I put it on my skin and somehow it gets creamier as it's spread out. It's the perfect consistency and has the perfect amount of exfoliation. I also love adding water because this activates the suds. The scrub leaves my skin moisturized, soft, exfoliated, and clean. Oh, and if you're wondering why I have gloves on, this is because during the four days of experimenting with countless scrubs, my hands became so chapped that it actually hurts to put them in water. So fun fact for you, you can definitely over exfoliate even your hands, which I really did not know was possible. My favorite body part to use a scrub on is my legs, especially after I've shaved. It leaves my legs feeling moisturized, clean, and silky smooth. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering what chapped hands look like, here you go. It ages your hands about 20 years. They become very tight, dry, wrinkled, and painful. Thanks for joining me today. Be sure to check out the description for the recipe, helpful tips, and the supply list at the bottom.